Hey guys, welcome back. Using this data set, we're gonna uh, build and deploy an XG Boost model with SageMaker and deploy it on AWS Cloud. Okay, so we're gonna train it on the train data and predict the test data. Okay, unzip it, put it near Jupiter Lab. Now let's get started. Well, SageMaker Studio more specifically. Okay, import these libraries and then prefix and get execution role. Okay, let's get started. And then create your bucket. Name the bucket whatever you want. Read the date of the train CSV. Drop hidden order. Axis equals 1. Your shape for test and train should be both 80. For test, just drop order. Do your label encoder as type string, your test pred fill in a in place equals true. Do that for both your um, test and train. BF info, same thing, model data fill in a, and we're going to do the label encoder for that as well as type string. Then we're going to split them into test and train, the original um, model data, which is the original train set. And then we're going to do something right here. Okay, PD concat equals train data sale price to CSV train. Okay, like we normally do. And then that's your S3 input train. Okay, your max depth is 12, ETA 0 0.2, gamma 4, reg linear, bucket name, prefix, num round 500. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing, PD concat. Okay. And then we're going to set the hyperparameter ranges with the ETA and then these parameters right here with max depth. We're going to use the Bayesian strategy and minimize. Two parallel jobs. Feel free to do more uh, jobs if you got a bigger account usage, of course. On this account, I don't have a high usage, so. Okay, and then validation root mean squared error. The tuner fit. Describe the tuning job and then attach the best save model. Which, of course, is this right here. Okay, we're going to do data capture configuration and then deploy. Okay, remember your test data, which we already took care of. Um, there we go. And then we're going to predict the test data to NumPy. There's your predictions. Predict. And then remember, it was at that room, root mean squared error, which is relatively low. There's our predictions for the housing data. And predictions flatten in the data frame, and then there we go. And there's if you want to save your predictions for over here. Okay. Now we're going to do the default model monitor and the baseline suggestions. Okay, new data frame. That CSV.
Okay. Now we're going to look at some of the features. And remember, name your monitoring schedule whatever you want in this format. Okay. Predictor, endpoint. And then there we go. And then uh, there's to see if it's executing or whatever. It already executed. And there's a purposeful error. There are uh, extra columns in the data set. Now, guys, remember one thing. Uh, you can't uh, delete the deployed model until you delete the monitoring schedule. Always remember that. If you're just doing a demo like this. Anyways, guys, eventually down the road, I'm going to upgrade my other account to a GPU usage. And uh, we're going to do an image classifier with SageMaker. Also, um, I was thinking next time I'm going to do something interesting with AWS or GCP or both. I was thinking about doing some data warehousing instead. And then uh, later down the road, we're going to do hyperparameter tuning with uh, grid search CV. Also, another convolutional neural network. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned from this video, especially the hyperparameter tuning. Stay tuned, guys.